Okay, let's finish chapter two now. So, chapter two, part three. Charlie steadied himself on the couch, got up, swayed slightly, and walked to the fridge. He opened the fridge, helped himself to a beer, and threw me one. Thanks, I said as I massaged my temples. Get me an aspirin too, please. Charlie walked over to my bathroom and took an aspirin from the medicine cabinet. He took a few for himself, then brought me the bottle. Is it just people or books too? Is that how you waste your finals with barely studying? I nodded and took a sip of, and took a sip of beer. Walls too. If these walls had ears. I've learned how to control books and walls though. How do you do it? How do you get it? How do you control it? What is it? I don't know. I don't know any of that. I've never heard of it before, so I named it myself. I call it absorption. I absorb knowledge. I control books and walls because they're stationary. I choose how long to touch them. And they aren't encumbered by emotions. Encumbered? Since when do you use ten cent words? Charlie looked at me mischievously and took a sip of beer. He set his beer down on the end table and put his head in his hands. We have to get you to control this, too. If it's not going away, and it seems like it's not, we have to get you to control it. It changes the dynamics of our relationship, though. Big time. I learned the word last week. I had to use it. I put my own beer on the, on the other end table. How does it change the dynamics of our relationship, besides the fact that you don't have any secrets anymore? Charlie Sloth smiled slyly at me. I like the weirdos, the odd ducks, the ones who ain't who just ain't quite right. Yeah, I've seen your girlfriends for the past six and a half years. I know a buddy. Charlie almost started laughing. Multiple sclerosis fucks with your head. Your mom literally has holes in her brain. Yep. I looked at him slantwise. And that makes you get a chubby? Actually, yes. Did you think I mowed her lawn ever since she got sick just because I'm a nice guy? Underneath every nice guy is a douchebag doing nice guy stuff, hoping it gets him laid. Charlie was laughing now. I wasn't sure if he was serious or not. Are you serious? My mother, a MILF? She's like a grandma. Women her age are great grandmas. She's 60 fucking two. Oh God, if you're serious. I think I just threw up a little. And yes, I knew every nice guy was hiding a douchebag hoping to get him laid. I assumed you were hoping I'd make a few female friends for you. He smiled mischievously again, but almost guiltily so. Ow. Oh God, I exclaimed, you do want my mom. I threw a decorative pillow at him. You're disgusting. Bella, where are you? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Stacy, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. I started singing Stacy's mom loudly. Charlie joined in. He threw the pillow back. We started laughing uncontrollably. I hadn't laughed like this. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it up there. Yeah, that works a little better. Okay. I hadn't laughed like this in a long time, nor had I spontaneously sung in a long time. It was fun. I was almost myself again. I wiped the laughing tears from my eyes and said, So what, you want me now, Dr. House? Because I'm fucked up? A little, to be honest. But I'm still freaked out at your whatever it is. Superpower, I guess. But don't worry. I still want your mom more. We started laughing again like old times. I forgot I couldn't touch people and put my hand on his arm. Again, I was attacked by a barrage of images. I stopped laughing as suddenly as if it had been a light switch and removed my hand. What did you see? Charlie looked nervous and scared. Wow, how did you turn out okay? I didn't mean to, but I started crying. Charlie went to comfort me, but stopped. What did you see? He looked concerned for both of us now. Your bio mom, she was a monster. She abused you and Matt. Charlie was no longer smiling. Yeah, I know Matt got the worst of it to protect me. He doesn't like talking about it. I don't know. Maybe he's told his wife. 
I've never told anyone, not even a therapist. I want to hug you, but I can't. So about that you liking me thing, you'd better stick with my mom. Why haven't you been to therapy? I gave him a watery smile and saw that his eyes were glistening too. If you can't say something nice, Charlie replied, without finishing the sentiment. I was relieved of having to find something to say by Sam's knock on my door as he walked in. End of chapter two.